Since doing the batch mock-ups in the canvas sheets, I've had a few inquiries about other things that we could do using sheets. So I'm going to open up a sheet. As you can see, I'm in Canva. We just go to sheets here. This is on the home tab. So if we click on sheets, I thought, why don't we just have a look and see if we can figure out how to do these things together. So the query that I had was, could you use multiple different size images and put those into your mock-ups. So let's just test it out. So let's say the first row is going to be our header. So let's just say this is going to be product title. Then we can have subtitle. We could have first size, which let's just say it's a five by seven invitation. Then let's just say the next one is a, um, a card, like a, like a details card or a thank you card. Let's just put card and I'll come back to the size on that. Um, and what else could we have? So let's just say we're going to have a menu as well. So if we've got those three different sizes and we're going to put our product images in here, then we just need a mock-up. So let's see if we can find a mock-up. Okay, so I quickly threw together this demo mock-up. So it's just for testing. It's not going to be anything aesthetic to look at. And I'm just going to go back here to the sheet and I'm just going to add in the images that we're going to use. So I just found some random ones. I've just got to upload them back in here. I figured it didn't really matter what they were. They didn't have to match or anything because it's just a test. So we're going to go with a details card over here. We're going to go with an invitation here. And we're going to go with a menu over here and we're going to put here, I don't know, minimal, whoops, capitals, minimal wedding stationery. And then underneath set of three, let's just do that. And over here, we'll need to put something underneath so a subheading that's okay let's just put subheading and we'll make that much smaller and okay so this is our test run okay so we have let's make that bigger so you can actually see We have the product title, a subtitle, the first um, product, the second product, the third product. Now let's see if this works. So if we select all and we go to actions and we say bulk create and continue. And we are going to select that one. And we're just going to map the details. So see how the second bit didn't appear here interesting okay so with the title we're just going to connect data to product title for this one we are going to connect data to invitation this one we are going to connect data to menu and this one connect data to card so that should work now I just realized because we have those ones in there, it's not going to look any different when we process it, is it? So we might do one and then we'll do another one just to make sure it works. So let's just create. So obviously this one is going to look correct. So you can see there it's added them in. Okay, but it doesn't have the shadow because I actually, when I set it up, the shadow that I threw behind was in the background one. So it hasn't included that one. So 
you'd prob you'd have to have a set background um, behind it so a set shadow because I use the one where you just click on it and go into edit photo and go into shadows so that's the one that I had picked because I wanted to test if that would actually work which it didn't so that's one thing we figured out okay so that's one thing all right so we can test now oh, I'm thinking that it hadn't saved properly and that's why the subheading didn't show so what we can do here is we can actually pick another product and put it in here so let me just download one give me a second okay so I didn't actually have another details card in my Canva collection so we're just going to update the invitation this is a kids invitation this time and we're also going to add a menu and just sit, just make sure that it updates that's all so we can still say instead of three Let's see if we can connect that as well and we can actually still use the same details card and put it in there and over here we're going to say i don't know kids party pack or something just so it looks different okay all right so what we need to do here is we need to move that one out of the way so we can have that one with the headers so i'm just going to select it all and i'm going to hit actions again and bulk create hit continue and i'm going to select the same one again now the subheading is there this time so I'm just going to right click on it and hit connect data and I'm just going to select the subheading and everything else oh because I didn't select the open one that's why it hasn't mapped it okay that's okay let's just pretend we're starting from scratch and we'll just map this one so we'll just map the title map the invitation map the menu and then the details okay so all of that has something in it so it's all mapped now if we hit create one design that should give us our new products in there yeah so it definitely does work you just have to have the shadows behind it so for any of you that were wondering if you could do it with a collection of products you definitely can so if you have a big pack of products so let me just find an example mock-up for you just so that you know what you could do bear with me one sec so let's just say we had a mock-up like this as long as we mapped into our um, sheet the different sizes that are going to go into it so if you had laptop screen computer screen and then you had your documents and you had the right number of documents that were going to fill that space in the actual mock-up so one two three four five and then you connected the data for each of those you could definitely do all of your mock-ups from that one sheet and it would automatically do it now it wouldn't just have to be one mock-up you could have lots of different mock-ups in this one document and it would mock them all up all you would need to do is just go through and actually map all of the fields so you'd be hitting you know on this image and you'd be going to connect data and just make sure that you link everything up in all of your mock-ups and then you can use it over and over again so as you can see here they appear down the bottom here so if we were to run this again and we go actions and we go to bulk create if we go to the one that's already open okay so I had to search by test because I want the one that says currently open. Once you find the one that says currently open and you click on that one, then it will have everything that's mapped. So you could just click on the one that's fully mapped and then you just hit create one design and then it's going to pop that one in and you can open it up and you will see that it's 
updated those fields. Let's actually put both in there this time. So you can definitely figure it out. You could definitely do multiple different sizes in your mock-ups. It's just going to be figuring out a little system that suits you and that works with it all. But once you have your mock-up set up, if it's one that you use over and over again, all you need to do is update your images in there and off you go. It'll automatically update it for you as soon as you select it and hit bulk create and fill in those um, fields. So it could definitely be a big time saver for you. So I hope that this has answered your question and has been helpful. And if you pair it with my Etsy listing automation, it'd be even faster. So check that out. I'll put the video on the screen.